Dolby Atmos makes your audio sound amazing, but it doesn't always work as expected. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Android Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix Dolby Atmos not working on Windows 11. So the first thing that we're going to do is check our output device uh, to see if it's stuck in exclusive mode. Now to do this, we press Windows key plus I to open up settings, head over to system, and then we're going to click on sound. Now in here, go all the way down and click on more sound settings. This will open up a small dialog box. And now we're going to take a look at uh, our playback devices, which is uh, in case this one. We're going to right click it and then go to properties. All right, now uh, go to the enhancement tab and just make sure that all enhancements are disabled first thing. Then uh, in the advanced tab, you can select the quality, let's make sure. And now under exclusive mode, just uncheck uh, both of these boxes or the first one because it automatically unchecks the other. It lets applications take exclusive control of this device, in which case Dolby Atmos might not be able to take control of the device and hence give you the sweet, sweet visual sound playback that you're looking for. So just make sure that you uncheck all of these, come back here and click OK, apply and then OK and then try again and you should be good to go. Next up, we're going to repair the companion Dolby apps that you might have installed on your system. Now, uh, as you know, with any codec or anything of the sort, you need a companion app that kind of installs the codec and runs everything. Uh, so what we're going to do is pressing Windows key plus X and then clicking on installed apps. Once this opens up, uh, it'll look something like this. You're going to click on this search box and you're going to search for Dolby. I don't have Dolby, so I'm just going to search for DTS instead. And as you can see, I have my app here. Make sure you search for Dolby. The only reason I'm searching for DTS is because I don't have Dolby on my system. So go all the way to the other side, click on the three dots and then click on advanced options. This will show you a bunch of options, but we're going to scroll down all the way to the reset section. And then we're going to click on repair. This is going to run a quick process. Once it's done, go ahead and try using the Dolby app again. If it doesn't work as expected, you should go ahead and reset it right away. And that should fix the problem. If resetting or repairing the apps did not work for you, you are going to have to repair pay or uninstall them completely from scratch now thankfully uh, we already were in the reset and repair settings of the app so if you just look a little lower you will find the uninstall settings uh, just click on the uninstall button windows will ask you for a confirmation we know what we're doing so go ahead and click uninstall once it's done you can re-download the app whether from the microsoft store or from the dolby website wherever you got it from in the first place uh, set everything up again and it should be working fine If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't been able to fix your problems, uh, you can let Windows take over by running the audio troubleshooter. Now to do this, press the Windows key and uh, search for troubleshoot. Troubleshoot settings will come up right here. Click on them. Uh, in these options, we're going to click on other troubleshooters and you will see the audio troubleshooter right there or you can just scroll down. You'll find the troubleshooter in this list. Go all the way to the other side and click on run. This will run the troubleshooter for you. Follow the steps that it gives and uh, make sure that you apply the fixes that it recommends. Restart your system after that and you should be ready to go. Last but not least, if nothing else has worked for you so far, you can try updating your audio drivers. Now to do this, press Windows key plus X and in the list that comes up, go to device manager. Once device manager opens up, what we're going to do is uh, expand the audio inputs and outputs section. And then we're going to find our speakers. Mine are right here. So right click and then click on update driver. Let Windows automatically search for drivers because those will be in 99% of the cases, the drivers that your system needs to run properly. So go ahead and click on that. As you can see, I already have the best drivers that may not be the case for you. So just make sure that the best drivers for your systems are installed. 
restart your system and you should get dolby working on your system without any problem if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video